Okay, morning folks. Uh, right, welcome to the briefing on uh, Saturday the 5th of September. So, it feels like an age to get rid of these frontal systems that are now over France, slowly crept away, and the high pressure has is, is sort of pushed them away. Uh, but it's not really building into us, and you can see that um, over the charts for tomorrow and Monday, it's remaining in the Atlantic and it's just feeding in these, these weather systems. So by Monday, we really are beginning to see the influence of quite a few frontal systems. So today, it's exerting enough sort of force on us that's reduced the wind a little bit, uh, turned it in a northwesterly direction and given it enough stability to cut out the showers. Wind today, flying heights, most places seem to be showing about 15 knots max um, from about 290, 300 degrees so northwesterly over really the centre of the country. Uh, on the surface, it'll be pretty much westerly, uh, 270, 280, between sort of six and 10 knots probably. Sat pick shows, some interesting developments. Obviously, there's moisture coming off the Irish Sea, comes across Wales. It is drying itself out, and I think this, this cloud you see here will remain over Wales. But I think there's also some influence this afternoon from the air coming in this direction, certainly anywhere uh, north of Oxford. If you're drawing the air down through the Cheshire Gap all the way down through here, uh, it's going to have an effect. It seems to be drier and better in the southern half of the country round us and to the east of us. Temperatures today, probably about 18 degrees, which I guess is, is average for this time of year. Uh, seemed to be what the BBC was suggesting um, over a reasonable area round here today. And dew points, currently they're around nines and tens. so. Fingers crossed, dew points will drop to six to seven. Um, I think with the risk of spread out today and in certain places, lowering cloud bases, dew points may go up a little bit in those areas. Um, but if they do stick it around us and to the east of us at six to seven, we should see reasonable height cloud base and not too much spread out. The soundings are certainly implying um, spread out this is around here one o'clock playing with the temperatures you're getting around about four thousand foot cloud base by that time but chances spread out with the inversion i haven't looked at the overnight hurstman so i'll have a quick look at that before i come out to launch the grid um, but in the afternoon round here drying out a little bit more in here still a strong inversion and i think we should hopefully see with 18 degrees, about four and a half thousand feet above sea level. Looking further north, um, up in the Bista area, similar sort of picture at one, 12, one o'clock with the inversion, but then in the afternoon, it tends to go a little bit odd and it appears that the dew points go up um, over the center of the country and cloud base will come down a bit. That's what the predicted data is showing top meteor are reflecting the same sort of thing showing it getting going probably by 11 o'clock i think that's reasonably accurate um, we certainly need to be ready by 11 o'clock to launch and 12 1300 meters around us 1400 meters a um, little bit lower further north so by sort of two o'clock it's showing areas of lower cloud base still quite good over us and to the east of us into Sussex and Kent um, but lowering as I say over Oxford and north of that and the cloud amount seem to show exactly the same thing spreading out after a promising start starting to show signs of spread out by lunchtime and then in certain areas 
certainly north of us, more chance of spread out um, during the day and lowering cloud bases. As I say, it, it, it is saying it's remaining good in the southeast. So their suggested distance, folks, and uh, areas to go, as you would imagine, down to the south and east of us. Uh, and they're not being very optimistic about anywhere north of Oxford. Don't know why. Could be an effect from the air mass coming down through the, the, the Cheshire Gap here. It's the most likely reason. So if you're going to go anywhere, either down to the southeast or perhaps out to the northwest, uh, towards the Cotswolds. Um, okay, so reasonable day should go on till you know, five o'clock at least. But the nights are pulling in now, so um, it's getting dark at about eight o'clock almost. So not long days, unfortunately, this time of year. Just make the most of what you've got. Airspace wise, not a lot going on. Um, they've notified military parachuting at uh, Western on the Green all day until five o'clock. And I think there's aerobatics going on uh, from nine o'clock in the morning till six at night at Little Granston. But apart from that, that's a very late in the, the afternoon, evening air display up near Worcester. Apart from that, it's very, very quiet in this part of the world. That's just the UAVs and aircraft floating around above the channel at about 1,200 feet. That's not to say there won't be a lot of people buzzing around, you know, in powered aircraft around us and across us going down to places like the Isle of Wight to enjoy um, the weather today to keep a good look out. Just thought I'd remind folks about the uh, COVID-19 requirements. These haven't changed for flying in aircraft and this is this is taken off the uh, DFT website for flying and training and it's recommendations that wearing face coverings at all times and taking all precautions uh, you possibly can. That still applies at Lasham because one or two people seem to have slipped back into the old ways and I've seen people getting into club two seaters for training without wearing face masks. That's perfectly fine if you're in the same household as that person that you're flying with but if not you need to be wearing a mask and you need to make sure that you've disinfected the glider beforehand and then when you finish. So just a polite reminder folks. Okay so we're operating off 27 the grids in action so even if we're launching the grid and you decide it's time to fly tow out to the back of the grid um, and we'll get you launched and then once we stop the grid launch we'll be back on the main runway. Okay hopefully see you out there folks.